Hey guys, today I'm going to be unboxing Chozy Achilles. I asked for this for my birthday because it's coming up pretty soon. And I'm just so excited because this is the last burst stopper Beyblade I need to have the full um, three burst stoppers set. Because it ha I have the Chozy of Valkyrie with the burst stopper wings that come out. Let me get it out like that. And it um, I think it out of all of them, it's the worst in my opinion. And my favorite out of all three of these, the Chosy Spriggan, and this wing, the wings come out like this. I feel like this one's harder to come out, but I still, I think that's why this one's better. If you're um, good at Beyblade, it's better for you. And also, let me show you guys the parts. So, it comes with the double zero disc. So, I have the zero disc right here. I'll compare it to the double zero disc later. But this is the zero disc, and that's what it looks like right there. And the dimension disc, it goes three different ways. It, you kind of rotate it instead of kind of like moving it up or down like this. But yeah. So this is the old one, and I didn't have the upgrade on it yet, or like right now. I know, I know we have it, but I don't have it on right now. Um, but let's just start unboxing it, because I am so excited for this. I, if only I could get the Black Achilles. I don't think I am going to, but... Oh my gosh. Chosy Valkyrie. This is the launcher. It comes with um, a launcher with it. If you guys looked at the back, I didn't show you guys... Well, I showed you guys this, but I didn't show you guys this part. It's kind of like an upgraded version of the other one. And um, with Beyblades like Chosy Spriggan, and I think this Beyblade Chosy Achilles... No, wait, it can't do this. But it can turn from left spin or right spin, depending on what you want it to be. Um, this one can't do it, but it comes with a launcher that can change it. So I'll test out the um, Chosy Spriggan and see if the launcher can do that well. Um, I just have the stickers here now. So I'm not going to put these on yet, but in another video, I'll show it with the stickers. And um, let's just get this part out. I'm going to start off with the launcher. Not, I'm not going to test it until I unbox this, but yeah. And another day, I'm going to do a battle with this Beyblade. I was thinking maybe um, Chosy Valkyrie versus Revive Phoenix or Spriggan, um, Chosy Spriggan. Like maybe tomorrow or another day. But yeah, so let me... This one I'm sure is huge. The boxes too, compared to these other boxes. I might show that later. But this is it. Actually, let me do a comparison. I have some other launchers here. So I have these two. So this one is with the original um, uh, Achilles. Like Z Achilles. But um, this one's pretty good. Um, this one too is from Left Spin with Geese Fafnir. And let me try to move it back for you guys. I think they're both like about the same size. I like the left spin one better, but let me show both of them. Actually, let me take them off. It can work better. This one I won't take off because it's harder to take off. But um, pretty much I'll do a comparison with these two. Pretty much they move like about the same amount. I'm trying to move it without hitting each other. But yeah, same length. Um, I just feel like this one's smoother. Maybe it's because I used it more. This one kind of like, you guys probably heard that noise. And let me put this back on. So, launcher's back. And this one, not as smooth as the other ones and it's not as long at all. Let me compare it to this one, Left Spin. Um, let me see like this. So this is a little hard to compare, but yeah, hold on. Let me try to see if I can. Yep, this one's definitely further in length. So I feel like this one is definitely better. And since I showed you guys earlier, these are both same length. So this launcher is worse. I feel like it is pretty smooth, but less smooth, and it's louder. So I still think I would prefer 
those um this one and this one these launchers i feel like it has more power but for a launcher that comes with the beyblade i think this one is really good especially since it can um change modes so it's for multiple modes and um yeah so let me actually show you guys how you guys can do that so what you guys do is it has this little lock right here it's easy to find this little white lock you just pull it up looks like that and you have this part so it shows what right or left and because you have the lock up like that you can move from right to left and then once you got it locked in right now i'm on right since this beyblade's right spin you could lock it down and it works so yeah for la um launcher like i said that comes with the beyblade if it can change to left spin or right spin if it can um you do both launchers i think this one's really good even though i i would prefer um this these these two um i still think if you guys don't have that this um set really good because it comes with the, all the stuff that you might need for your beyblade um so yeah let's go on to the next part oh yeah but first let me show you guys this this is how you change the mode so actually let me grab the spriggan requiem real quick so you have this these little teeth right here so you're going to want to lock this part into the teeth till it goes in hold on and then you turn it to the, another direction want to hear that click and now it's on another um spin i i think it was on right spin and now it's on left spin as you guys can see i think that's really cool about this beyblade now that beyblade's on left spin so this works really well the launcher is amazing but in my opinion, these are still better. Um, we spent a little while on that, so let's go to the actual Beyblade. Start with the... How about the disc? So, double zero disc. I think it weighs more than the zero disc. Yeah, I think this is the heaviest disc at the moment. It's brand new. Comes Only comes, from what I know, with this Beyblade so far and um it just looks good let's compare it to this one and i like how it has these edges but yeah this pretty much this driver or not driver and this disc comes with a lot of different um beyblades but this one heavier and i think it'll work better um let's go on to the driver now yeah wow i didn't expect it to look like this so it's obviously red and it um has these little parts right here those little edges and you can use that to turn it so yeah and it starts moving up you guys can hear little clicks that's when it locks in you're gonna want it to lock in or else it can just like swerve in different directions i believe that lock in is um let me look at it looks like stamina wow hold on so it rises higher. So hold on. Let me move it back all the way to the bottom. So this is the bottom. It starts out like this. Believe this is attack. But it's like all the way at the bottom. Then you move it up. Here, click. Stamina. Or at least I think that is stamina. And then you move all the way up. You can move it a bit higher, but just lock it in there i think and this is defense from what i think yeah so that's the driver we're gonna test that out and um right now i don't know much about it i'll figure out more about it in a in a battle i do with it and i'll explain that to you guys i feel like this one's easier and this one's easier to do but like to change pretty much but i like how this one you can change exactly how you want it and it can click in and stuff like that i think it's a really cool new driver and um new idea so let's move on to this so in the black version the red is pretty much replaced by black as you would expect and the wings i haven't tested this out so i don't know how easy they are to pop out but 
um, they're actually red in the reskin version that is really, really hard to get. It's harder to get than the black um, Spriggan Requiem. So, yeah. Um, let's test this out in a battle because I'm just... I just really want to do a battle. So, let's put the Beyblade together. Right spin, like I said earlier. I have it all the way down, I believe. Hold on. Let me let me put the driver all the way down just to make sure. Yeah, it's all the way down. I believe that's defense, or I mean attack. But in the next video, I'll know exactly every single point um, in a battle video I do. So you guys can see that if you guys want to know more about the Beyblade. And because the, um, this launcher comes specifically with this Beyblade and it's so good, I am going to be using this launcher to test it out. So let's get the battle. Let Not battle, but let's test this out. Okay, so just want to... Sure. Yeah. This one, I don't know. Let's try a better launch. Definitely a better launch. I am not doing good right now. Maybe if I move it higher, I'll do better. Or, you know what, I'm going to try even lower. This Beyblade kind of wobbles a bit. Yup, that's attack. I feel like this launcher, I don't know, I can't... I feel like I'm not doing good with it. Hmm. Let's try this one then. I don't do that good with this one either, but... I'll try these three different launchers that I like, or the three right spin ones I have. And... This is attack. I still don't like this one that much. I'm gonna grab an even better one that I'm used to. I have it. Let's just grab this real quick. So I'm gonna put this on. Hold on. I'm moving it all the way up. So I have it on defense from what I think it is. I'm pretty sure it's defense. And this is my favorite launcher. Wow, I feel like this one is I'm gonna need to learn how to use because this is my first time using it and sometimes with certain Beyblades I either get the hang of it right away like um, I feel like Spriggan, Chosey Spriggan I got the hang of it but then with this Beyblade I didn't. I feel like it's kind of hard to control in my opinion at least with the Achilles Beyblades it's been hard for me to control but yeah let's turn it to here so i think this is stamina like i said not completely sure now i feel like i'm launching a bit better like i said pretty sure that's stamina i just want to battle this against something because some beyblades what they do is they act calm or attack really fast when they're um, battling, like, kind of, not really battling, but, like, being tested on their own. But if you end up putting them against another Beyblade, they start acting way different. Like, I feel like with Geese Fafnir, it goes super fast, but when it's fighting an opponent, a, opponent, not opponent, it um ends up, like, kind of saving its energy, but attacking at the same time. So... That's um, something to note here. Let's make it lower. Wait. Yeah. Okay. This time I'm going to try a different launch. Let's see if I can get um, some of the wings out. I don't know exactly how they come out, but let's see. That makes a weird noise can tell but the stadium was moving and it made a really weird noise i think that's from the um these little parts right here 
these two parts, I guess they end up scraping against the sides. Um, I kind of don't, I like the driver, but I feel like it's harder to use than the other two mode changing drivers that comes with the Z Achilles and the Chosy Spriggan. I like those better. So, yeah. Okay. Yep, nothing came out. I wonder, I think this one might be even harder to come out than the Chosy Spriggan and Chosy Valkyrie. Even And even though I haven't gotten the hang of this Beyblade yet, I still have that feeling like, um, I have that feeling that I think this is probably my second favorite Beyblade and my first is still Chosy Spriggan because right now I just feel like I'm better with that one. Yeah, didn't get the wings out. But this is the end of the video because it's kind of a little long. But I hope you guys liked it and I'll be doing a battle soon with this. I probably won't be using it because I'm bad with it. But I will be using the other Beyblade I use. So I hope you guys liked it, this video, and bye!